Welcome Unity fans to another update on the awesome Unity UI extensions project. This time we're going to go over the accordion control after to popular demand. We've been asked and asked to show how this gets set up. If we switch over to Unity and then hit run on this, we'll show the new accordion example scene, which can be added soon in the next update. And here you can see that we've got the, a single accordion where I have an element open on by default. And then I can quickly switch on and off each one of the controls. Alternatively, you can simply have instant access and nothing on, and simply it will flip between different options. And another another example layout is that I've got three accordions set up here, and I can actually pop up each of the elements for showing or not. So we look at the Unity UI extension site, and I can actually see how the documentation for this control is laid out. If we go down, down to where you can see you controls, and um, we can look at the page for the accordion control, which has been updated uh, after re several requests. Each of the pages will have information about what the control is, how it's laid out. In this case, we have two objects, which we'll go into more, more detail soon. We've got the accordion group, which is like the grouper or the toggle group element of the accordion, and then the individual child element, which will be shown. In here, we've got instructions about how to set this up as it currently stands, but we'll walk through this now in a bit more detail. So if I'm back in Unity, I'm going to go File, New Scene. And we've now got two options in the next update for how we can set up the accordion. We'll go through how we do it today, which is basically Game Object, UI, Extensions, Accordion, and then Accordion Group. This gives us our group or group area, which is what we use to control which element is active within the group itself. Here we can see we've got the accordion script there, a toggle group, a content size footer, which can adjust to show what contents within there. And then we've got spacing. I'm going to have a little bit of spacing there. Then within our group, we go right click add, UI, extensions, accordion, element. And this gives us our child component which has pretty much the same elements that are on there for as the group. But importantly is that we have two elements within our element itself. We've got the header, which is the element that is always shown. This is what we can click on to then activate to show our child content. And then we've got our child content, which in this case I've got text, but this could be an image. It could be an empty gaming object with some layout. Say so you're showing a character's profile, which you can click on to show what's there. It's completely up to you. Before we get these two elements set up, and on the header as well, we have a layout element which tells us what the minimum height is for the actual header, which reflects and is the same as the preferred height set for the actual element itself. If I then duplicate this a few times, oh, da, 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 and then that's all set up. Uh, let's change the camera so that it's a solid color to make it a bit easier to see. Also, this is unstyled, unthemed. This is just raw out the box. You can customize it how you wish. And then you can see I can click on these there, setting it up. And if I select my group, I can also then change it from just instant on to simply tweening. So it's animating between the different elements. So that's the accordion control. Feel free to comment or question below, or better yet, go on to the actual Bitbucket page or join us on our Gitter channel and chat to the team about any questions you might have regarding how to use this. Uh, this will be first, hopefully, in a range of videos now. We're going to go over some of the different controls which have been updated with the recent release, and also hopefully a big update release on our recent release, which expanded all the ways we can get access to the UNTU extensions, including the publishing on the Asset Store. So thanks everyone for listening and she'll catch you on the project.